What you guys got another video on how to recover data after formatting your hard drive. Now I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of people out there that have uh, forgot to back up something and they've gone ahead and formatted their machine like this one here and you want to then uh, go back and recover that data. Is it possible? Well it is possible and you need to use the right correct software and I'm going to show you a real easy way to recover data from your hard drive even after formatting it and reinstalling Windows. You can see here this machine is completely empty. It's got a fresh install of Windows. All I've done is installed uh, Zone Alarm Camtasia to capture the screen here and I've installed the software which is what I'm going to use to recover data. Now you can see I've got a little partition there which has got my software installed onto it because you never want to install the software onto the drive that you're trying to recover data from. Uh, this is the software I'm going to use. It's called Get Data Back. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just going to go out there and say this is probably the best uh, data recovery software that you can use on the market. Now, it's not free, but if you want to recover data properly and recover all the data on that drive, then Get Data Back is the best, in my opinion, software you can use to do that. Now, I've used many different types of software and this is always my go-to one to recover data that is hard to recover i've tried a lot of the other free ones like recover and stuff like that it never recovers the data that i need and this software does it all so let's take a look at it it's a very simple uh, graphic user interface as you can see here you've got your drive here which is what we're going to recover data on now it's best to try and stop using the computer as soon as possible, as soon as you realize you want to recover data and try to recover that data as soon as you can before uh, you continue using that computer. Because every time you leave it and use the computer, you've got more chance of the data being overwritten. Now, obviously, we're going to click on the drive here and this will then get some information up and allow us to select the level. Now, you can see there's a one star level down the bottom there in purple. This will do a relatively uh, quick scan here and uh, I'm going to change that in a second. But you can see here we got some red uh, tiles here. We can click on the drive, which is the drive we want to recover. You've got tools here, settings. You can go into your settings and change this to how you want and uh, basically uh, do whatever you want here to set the settings to how you like them. So you can see here smart scan is on initial one star. And also, we've also got bad sectors, auto, retry, skip, and so on. And you can change these up to how you want to do it, okay? So it's entirely up to you. So obviously, if you want to do a long, deep scan, uh, this will take a lot longer, but sometimes it's more, uh, it's more successful at recovering data. We also have our file systems. You can take out the ticks on the ones you don't want, or you can leave them all ticked. It's entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to leave them all ticked here. Uh, you can use a valid uh, MFT only and also you've got miscellaneous inside here as well. So it's entirely up to you what you want to set yours up as. So you can also allow uh, bad directories and so on in there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this as it is and leave it as level one and click on the large drive, which is a terabyte uh, Toshiba drive, which is NTFS. You can see there 900 and odd gigabytes in size. Now this will do a very quick scan of the drive and this is what we call a quick scan. It's not a deep scan and it won't take too long and sometimes this may be enough for you to recover what data you need. Now if it doesn't work, you're gonna need to do a deeper scan of that drive, okay? You can see it's starting to detect stuff on the drive and uh, I'll show you what it looks like here. And this is what's gonna happen when you've done your quick uh, scan it doesn't take too long at all and you may find that it hasn't detected all the data that you've lost so you may need to do a deeper scan which will take a considerable amount of time but if it means you're going to get your data back then this will probably be the best method for you now you could use uh, some free software out there that is available on the internet but I'm pretty sure that you're not going to be able to get uh, some of your data back that you've lost or formatted previously uh, those are really sort of uh, free options that uh, are not sort of super technical and get right down into the drive and pull up that data. I've tried it many times and it's not been that successful. So let's go ahead and do a deeper scan on this drive and try to recover data 
uh, from this drive uh, which we have actually formatted and reinstalled Windows. Now a lot of the free software will struggle uh, trying to recover data from this sort of situation. So you can see here this is the drive here yep. so we've got a 932 gigabyte drive which I'm going to be going ahead and doing. We're going to go and take a look at uh, the settings up the top here. It's very simple and easy to use. Let's go into settings and I'm just going to make some changes here. So data recovery. I'm going to take the uh, smart out of this and you can see the smart scan will still be on here. So I'm going to turn the smart scan off and do a deeper scan on this drive. So you can see a scan between one star and four stars when when smart scan is on. So I'm just going to turn this off here. Do probably about let's go ahead and do three. And uh, what I want to do here is recover deleted files. Also allow duplicate file names. And you can also do some other settings you want here. Now you can see here filtering. If you want to filter out stuff, you can do. You can also include uh, file names or file types if you want to. It's going to do all files basically. But if you wanted to add those in, you could just add those in down the bottom here and include those. And they would be extensions as well. For instance, uh, you could say, say for instance, uh, uh, .mp4 or whatever it is that you're looking for, .jpg and so on. But the, the scan all will generally find the files that you need. Uh, on that drive so it's entirely up to you what you want to do there but I'll maybe add those in in a second so let's go ahead and add a couple in here so I'm just going to go to the end of these stars here I'm going to leave the all search all in I'm just going to add a couple of extra ones in here so I'm going to do dot mp4 and I'll also do uh, dot uh, mkv got a double m there so let me just do a dot m MKV. Now I'm not sure if I would have to remove the all from there and I'm not sure if I have to do the .mp4 but I'm going to do that and leave it as it is and see how that works. That may be uh, needing to look at the tutorial on their website to find out whether that is correct but I'll leave it like that for now. So we'll go to the file system here and we can also see the file system that it's going to search for which is just about everything here. NTFS XFAT, EXT, also we've got FAT16, FAT32 and so on. Take out the ticks to whatever you want, but I'm going to leave them all uh, ticked there. We can also use uh, the other settings here if we want to. That's pretty much it for me. And what I'm going to do here is click close. Uh, go ahead and run the scan on the drive. And again, it will start to run this scan. You can see it's searching for files on that file system type which is NTFS, FAT12, FAT16 and so on and it will go ahead and do a scan on that drive. Now it will take a bit of time, it does give you an estimated time remaining and you can see that is five hours odd which is a fair bit of time okay so I wouldn't advise you to sit here and watch this unless you're into sitting there watching a drive scan sector by sector it will take a bit of time. So. Again, you can remove ticks from certain uh, file types, uh, file system types like uh, FAT12 uh, and FAT16 and so on if you want to and just search for NTFS. That's entirely up to you. That may speed up the process. And also searching for a particular file type may also speed up the process as well. But again, uh, I'm just going to let this run and uh, walk away and leave uh, it scanning. Now also make sure the system, if it's a, a drive, it's always advisable to remove the drive from the computer that you're trying to run a scan on and plug it into a computer and scan it that way. That way it's a little bit safer and you can scan that drive that way and then also pull off any data onto the computer that you uh, are using to scan that drive on. So this will then go ahead now and finish off. You can see it's completed and I'm just going to let this finish off. And there we go. So that's now done. So now we can select the uh, file system uh, that we want to recover data on and you'll see the different ones here. And you can just basically click on the one that you want to uh, try to extract information from. So just let it uh, build it's a file table here and we can then have a look once that has been completed. It may take a little bit of time to do this bit, so be patient. 
and uh, once this is done we should see all the information there we go so now we've got the information here and I can already see that this has been a lot more successful than the previous scan that I did which was a quick scan and we can go back here and you can see here some uh, file information here dates and stuff like 2012 um, 2015 16 and so on and some of this stuff will not be recoverable but some of it is recoverable so what I need to do here is have a little search through here for the files that I'm looking for to recover now this is not for me this is for a friend of mine who actually uh, lost the information and he wanted me to try and recover it for him so I said I'd have a go at trying to recover it uh, using uh, this software so what are your options if you've used this piece of software and you can't recover the data and it's not there and you've tried every single uh, level now you can see this is level four now if software recovery doesn't work for you you will need to go to a data recovery specialist and they will do it uh, in a different way they're not going to be using this method they'll be using much more complex and uh, in-depth ways of recovering data from that drive and it will probably be successful but also pretty expensive so let's go ahead here and take a look i found a folder that i want to try to recover here you can see it's a music folder i'm not going to go right through and show you all his stuff that he wants to recover but you can do a search for a typical uh, folder that you're trying to find and it will try to find that information or or video or something like that it will try to recover that data and you can also include files modified between certain dates and times so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to recover data here. I'm just going to show you one folder here just to let you see basically how to recover it. I don't want to show you all of his data, but basically we're going to copy this. And you can see here, I can copy this to another drive and it's saying caution, never specify a directory on the drive you are going to recover. So basically you can't recover it to the drive that you've just scanned basically. So you need to locate a source which is not the same drive that you've just scanned on so i'm going to do this just to a quick usb drive here just to show you for quickness and i'll do uh, a different drive uh, a little bit later on so i've got a little drive here which i'm going to copy this to now it's good to normally create a folder with uh, the person's name and date on it and copy the data to that so you know exactly uh, where it's going and of course uh, i'm just going to copy this stuff across now you can also do uh, some images here. I'm just going to do this to show you as well. Just uh, copy this stuff across. Now you can copy the whole drive if you want to, the whole folders with loads of information with gigabytes of stuff, but that's going to take some time. So I'm just going to quickly show you uh, how to copy some information across. And you can see here that's now done. And I've now got the information copied off of this drive onto um, a drive which I've got here as you can see and it's copied both of these across and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can recover your data even after a format uh, using this piece of software it's a really powerful piece of software now if this doesn't work out for you then you may need to go and see a data recovery specialist uh, which will use um, uh, different technologies to clean room and uh, pull pull the drive apart and get the information off it and they will charge you accordingly which will not be cheap again remember the golden rule back up back up back up and also uh, it just depends how much uh, you're willing to pay for your data and how valuable your data is worth to you so that's pretty much it that's basically how you can recover data even after you've formatted your drive and that's why it's important to make sure you sanitize your drive before you sell your computer because data can be easily recovered like i showed you here anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support have a great weekend bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.